Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial on spawning in units using the Armour Free Editor. Previously we've looked at spawning in a group using this Funk Spawn Group and we've looked at giving that group waypoints. This time we're going to have a look at using this Funk Spawn Group in a different way. So what I'm just going to do is delete our first line of code And I'm going to leave the name of the group the same. So my group equals, and it's going to equal something different this time. What we're going to do is go to the Bohemia Interactive Wiki. And again, we're looking at the Bohemia Interactive Wiki on this spawn font group. And we're going to work with example two this time. Now, example two will spawn in a group, and it's going to be one of the preset groups that you can find by pressing F2. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this. And we're going to edit it in a minute. But first of all, we're just going to go into the editor and look at what I mean by preset groups. So now that we're in the editor, we're going to press F2 and we're going to click on the map somewhere. And what I mean by preset groups is the groups we can now lay down in the box, the insert group box. So uh, we could change the faction. We're going to work with Op4 still, I think. We could change the class. So I could do armor, could do special forces. I think we'll look at using mechanized infantry. And we'll have a mechanized rifle squad. And if we place them down on the editor and zoom in, we can see there's one APC and there's a squad of infantry inside there. I'm now going to show you how to spawn one of these groups that are available by pressing F2. Using our script. So anything by pressing F2 that's available you can spawn in. So let's start editing the script. Again, the first part of the array that we talked about in our first video is position, and that's the position our units are going to start at. So I'm going to change that to my uh, can't type today. My group start. The second part again is the sides. So we're going to change that to east. And the third part of the array, which deals with the units we're spawning in, you'll see in the example is different. So I'm just going to talk you through what this does. Config, config, west. So this is looking into the game files and it's looking through the config files. It's looking through the config groups. And then it's going to look at the side. We're going to change the side to east because we want the um, mechanized group from earlier. The next part is the faction name, and this is an Armour 2 example, so it says BIS US. We're going to look at changing that to one of the Armour 3 examples. So we're going to look at a second website now, and that's the Ambient Combat Manager Wiki. If we scroll down, we can see the different types of groups available to us. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see the different factions and what groups they have available. CSAT is the group we're going to place down uh, and we can see here config config east and then op underscore f and that is the faction name. So we're going to copy that. Now you'll note this part, this top line here, looks very similar to our code and that's because it is. So we're going to delete this US and in its place we're going to type what the wiki tells us to. The next part we're going to look at is what type of group it's going to be. The example gives armor. We however want mechanized so I'm going to copy and paste the word mechanized into our script. 
Lastly, we have to choose the type of group we want. And again, we just go back to the wiki and there's a list here. And what we're going to do is mechanized inf squad. So that's the same group we placed down earlier. Once more, I'm going to copy that into the appropriate place. And that's it, we're done. We're going to spawn in a group. Remember, all the code is going to be in the description of this video, so you don't need to worry about writing it down or anything. Just remember at the end of each line to put a semicolon. What we're going to do now is go into the editor and press preview. And again, we have the same situation from the last couple of videos. We've got one trigger that executes our script. And we've got three markers that are acting as locations for us to create waypoints. So we're going to hit preview. Once again, we're going to admire the headwear. And we're going to run forward. And we can see now that we've walked into the trigger area. Off in the distance we have our APC and a group of infantry. So let's speed up time. Now you could change one of these waypoints to load and the infantry would get on board instead of following behind. The last thing we're going to look at is spawning in a blue 4 unit, or a blue 4 group I should say, using the same methods. Um, so we want a blue 4 unit this time, so we're going to change everywhere it says east to west. We are then going to have to find the NATO faction name, so we're going to go into the wiki once more. And we're going to scroll down till we see NATO. So NATO's faction name is blue underscore F bluff. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste it into the appropriate section, which is just after West. Next, I think we're going to spawn in a tank um, platoon this time. So we're going to choose armored as the group type. And we'll just paste that in there, the appropriate place. And lastly, we'll choose the type of armor we want. And blah, I have no idea what any of these things are. Um, let's go for a MLSR. I know what they are. They're the Massive rocket launchers of death. And we'll paste it there. And all we need to do now is press save. We'll go back into the editor. Again, we'll hit preview. <laughs> I've got a beret this time. Oh, honky honk. And we'll walk forward into the trigger area. And this time we can see we've got some artilleries on track. And they've got their big rockets of doom on top of there. So let's speed up time. And watch what they do. So they're just going to follow the waypoints again. And if you remember from the last video, we've got a circuit set up. So they're just going to follow that circuit around and around. That's all from me on this video. The next video we're going to look at using all the scripts we've looked at in the previous two videos and this video in a multiplayer game. And that's a must watch if you're going to use these scripts in a multiplayer game. It'll avoid some bugs associated with multiplayer scripting. My last video is going to be on spawning in armor and other types of vehicles as well as aircraft.
and we're going to be using a different function created by BIS. So, until next time, have fun making your missions, and we'll see you again soon.